Welcome to another edition of Pixel Art News. I'm Retro and today I will attempt the impossible looking at all, yes, all the pixel art games that were shown at Summer Game Fest. Starting with the feature event, well this is where all the biggest AAA titles are announced, so not that much pixel art, but we had a few surprises. One pixel art game that was announced as its own thing was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Rita's Rewind. It's your classic, go to the right, fight everybody, battle it out, has all these 3D sections as well, yep, cool, cool stuff. Bloomhouse Productions, who specializes on horror content like Five Nights at Freddy's movie is now branching into games, yes, and one of those is Grave Seasons. Grave Seasons is a murder mystery farming sim. Yes, it looks charming, but probably things are gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Finally, another tiny announcement, the company Innerslot, who you know as the developers of Among Us, started a new fund called Outer Sloth. And one of the games they are funding is One Button Bosses. You have one button and you have to press the button and you are beating bosses. It has a handcrafted campaign or you can fight it in roguelike rifts. Next up is Day of the Devs, as always presented by Tim Schafer of Double Fine and other lovely people. I was so happy to see Petal Runner appear here because the art is done by Brandon James Greer, one of the biggest pixel art YouTubers out there. And yeah, he's been working in secret for years now on this wonderful old school looking thing that is just so adorable. You will hop on your bike and join Kelly and Kira as they explore the sun-soaked city of Sapphire Valley and train to become pedal runners. You'll make deliveries, meet new friends, play mini games, and discover a wholesome slice of life story about growing up and letting go. UFO 50, now that's a crazy concept. It comes from Derek Yu, the developer of Spelunky and some other people. It's like going to your friend's house, trying to play the console that you don't have at home and you just go across all of the cartridges, putting stuff in and seeing what kind of weird games they have. Oh boy, Screenbound was definitely the most shown game of all of the event because it appeared on multiple showcases and yeah why not because it's this crazy i'm playing a 2d game on a handheld console thing but i'm also in 3d space kind of like one of those paper mario or fez mind bending space transforming things it's as crazy as it looks it gives me motion sickness to be honest <laughs> but probably once you're playing it's probably better just like in a car yeah this is crazy stuff going on Psy Chroma, well, now that's a game I would be scared to play. It's a narrative-driven side-scroller, and but you're a digital medium and you confront the past by piecing together the broken memories of a cybernetic house and exercise the ghost in the machine. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of it, just looking at it. And we're gonna tie it up by looking at building relationships. It's not pixel art, but it's pixelated. I'm always gonna put something like this in because this is Retronator pixel art news. And the concept is just crazy. You're a building. It's like a relationship sim something. It's as weird as it looks and it's gonna be great. Last but not least, from the first day of Summer Game Fest was the Volver Direct. Always weird stuff. We got one pixel art game out of this showcase and it's 10 Jutsu from the developer designer of Dead Cells. Um, you're gonna step into the shoes of a renegade Yakuza that is trying to defy her former associate and loosening their grip on the secret garden city. It's a fast and fluid rogue jutsu, whatever that is. <laughs> Probably fighting. Next up was Future of Play, celebrating all things creative. First we saw Psychroma again, we already talked about it, so let's move on. Echo Generation Midnight Edition, one of those voxel art kind of looking games with pixel art textures and it's a turn-based adventure set in the 90s, definitely has those Stranger Things vibes going on, yep that's the 90s for ya. Bubblegum Galaxy is kind of one of those building by tiles things where you build planets but it's also narrative driven so you get to also talk to other architects of your planets. Look at this cuteness! 
Then we got to see retro gadgets. I'm very happy to see this one. It's been out for a while. I've been actually doing some gadgets. You can see in this trailer. Yeah, makes me very happy. It's a very creative game builder tool thing where you are just creating all these little devices and you get to draw them, you get to paint them, you get to code them. And finally, we have Margin of the Strange, sort of top down mystery exploration game over the course of six weeks link will seek out to find more about this world in order to unravel the mysteries surrounding his own life and his own death so yeah i was very excited about this one i love the holes and games community starting with this county where you get to manage and build up your own supermarket it has some twists and turns i'm pretty sure it has a little bit of a dark vibe towards the end of it we'll see how it goes Playdate was one of the sponsors of the showcase and yeah it's this little small handheld device with a crank beautiful black and white pixel art the pixels are smaller it's just amazing dithering it creates all the shades of gray it's a wonderful device and now it's back in stock playdate is definitely a thing to keep your eye out on moonstone island is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world and you will explore 100 islands make friends brew potions and collect spirits there are card base encounters as well as you try to become an alchemist pretty cool Spilled is gonna get a graphics update that's what the developer Lente was coming to Holson Games to tell us about and yeah a new artist has joined the team with a little bit more shader stuff going on I am very excited about the new look in this game where you are cleaning up the oceans Traveler's Rest has been out since 2020 already. It has all this diverse gameplay where you're playing and gathering resources, create unique dishes, all the cool stuff. They just keep on adding more and more stuff. Hermit and Pig, it's a turn-based adventure RPG about a reclusive hermit and his truffle hunting pig. Here you will explore and forage and fight to overcome unfortunate personal shortcomings to solve the mystery of a sinister corporate plot. Wow, wow, wow. Music, power up. It has everything, everything I love. It's pretty much Pixel Art Academy, but for music. It teaches you how music production works, synthesizers, everything, and you get to create music for video games. The similarities are just there. Coming out at the end of this year, if everything is all right. Goodlands is one of those pixelated games. It's a game about dinos digging up dinos. Because you become a paleontologist, you'll be driving around a badlands inspired environment and discover fossils and help restore a decrepit museum to its former glory. Downfolk is one more minimalist city builder. This is just a charming genre of games and now we get to enjoy them in beautiful pixel art as well. Because why not? Kitsune Tales is a platformer where you run, jump and dash across a land inspired by Japanese mythology and explore the complicated relationship between Kitsune and humans. Tidy Cauldron is a neat little puzzle game where you have to arrange different shaped things to make your spell happen. It comes with a hundred handcrafted puzzles. Let's finish out with Hiro Kato where you are a cat and you are adventure platforming, parkouring over platforms just try to deliver food. It has hard to beat levels, great music, handmade pixel art. And then there was the Latin American Games Showcase, almost as if every other game, like probably maybe the majority of games were pixel art, so I'm not even gonna try to say something smart about these games, I'm just gonna read the descriptions. Dungeon Drafters. Dungeon Drafters is a mystery dungeon adventure set in a world where magic is cards and cards are magic. Explore ancient ruins, loot rare cards and employ clever combos to defeat your foes. Glory Hunters is an all-new action-adventure RPG using retro handheld graphics with a unique and original twist. You progress through the game by obtaining achievements. Read Only Memories Neuro Diver is a story rich adventure and the sequel to 2064 Read Only Memories. Explore the rich world with an intuitive point and click interface as you take on the role of a young psychic agent. Arco, enter the breathtaking world of Arco, a dynamic tactical RPG where your decisions shape the story. 
Naughty Geese is a 2D pixel art platformer. You control a biker goose who tries to keep his offspring safe from predators. Enjoy any gameplay that pays homage to classics of the genre. The War in Chiapas Control a group of young people who enter the jungle of Chiapas, Mexico to form a guerrilla whose objective is to create an army to overthrow the government through the new revolution. Key Locker Turn-based cyberpunk action In a silent world where music is outlawed, play as a singer to shatter the strings of faith and sing the melody of freedom in this unforgiving turn-based rhythm JRPG. Beep is Trello and the cursed yo-yo. Tighten up that string and bust out the yo-yo moves. In this 2D top-down adventure, you'll explore a sprawling urban landscape, reinterpreting your surroundings through your mastery of yo-yo tricks. Wind Runners. For centuries, the realm uses fear and its military superiority to keep the Zara Inna system under control, but a group of rebellious Ishma arises to fight its tyranny. With their superior aerial combat skills, the Windrunners will bring freedom to all who live under the shadow of oppression. Bittersweet Birthday is an action game. Learn your enemy's patterns, plan your movements and tear down your opponent in fierce battles that combine souls-like dodge roll mechanics with bullet hell mayhem. Abyss X0. Explore an expansive world in this 3D metrovania with carefully crafted dungeons and stylish combat. Take control of two different characters with unique abilities that change how you fight and interact with the environment. Beacon of Nada. In a world where a robot revolution failed, the last humans search for a way to survive and escape. Beacon of Nada is a side-scroller strategy game where you have to survive waves of enemies while creating and upgrading your base. Road Out is a post-apocalyptic action-adventure that mixes dungeon exploration and racing mechanics. Explore the dead zone, work for hire, trash rival gangs and race for glory. Boy Scout Patrick Stown Go on a new pixel art adventure playing minigames to help the local scene town while you discover the big mystery underground. Super Crane HD Retro Match 3 about a bug juggling at his job, but now it's better. Match 3 drops to clear them, but your tool changes constantly, so watch out. Dream Sweeper Dream Sweeper is a dungeon crawler X minesweeper, roguelike, and a lo fi musical experience like no other game before. Eagle Knight Paradox takes you, the player, into a double experience. One of them is the role of a powerful mecha trying to protect a space city from space fanatics. On the other hand, the game sets you as the role of Ian, the pilot, building relationships around the city or what's left of it. Soul Quest Carve your path through hordes of enemies. Soul Quest combines amazing gameplay with a unique Celtic mythology into one action-packed mixture. Codex Eternal Eclipse. Explore strange worlds, find the missing codex, and find the truth behind the eclipse. Tenebri Somnia. Tenebri Somnia is a 2D survival horror adventure with live action cutscenes. Unveil a disturbing story by solving puzzles and fighting horrible creatures. You can say that again. Blood Rush Undying Wish is an extremely fast-paced hack-and-slash roguelike set in a gothic undying world. Digital Exorcist CF1 underscore Defrag After the mysterious death of a superstar idol, this Grace Data agent Sawyer must face his ultimate challenge yet being an undercover high school teacher while also keeping the Mississippi and Aka safe from demonic influence. Mariachi Legends, Don de la Sombra and descend into Santa Mascota as Detective Pablo Cruz, chosen by that herself. Blending Mexican folklore and classic arcade gameplay, Mariachi Legends is an action platforming trip through a world where the dead live once again. Whoa, I hope you survived that one, I barely did that now a little bit, uh, we can relax a little bit. With women-led games, what a wonderful showcase this was as well, especially as we started off with. Yes, Your Grace, Snowfall, oh wonderful, wow, this game, I just love the original and I'm totally in love with the sequel as well, it went from already gorgeous 
2D pixel art in very good lighting and now it's in the 3D world as well as the trends dictate and I am so happy because they are really making show how to do this art style done well. My grammar just went out the window because what a wonderful game. And then there were three more games that we've already talked about. Bubblegum Galaxy, Abyss X Zero and Kitsune Tales. So it's very nice. They appear in multiple showcases as they should. So awesome. Okay, now that we had a breeder, we have two more showcases. Future Games Show, and not to be confused with the Future of Play we looked at before. Let's go. Detective Dotson, a story-driven adventure game set in modern-day India. Meet colorful characters and use these guises to get information. Explore the richly detailed streets of India to collect clues and complete the evidence board. Solve cases as Dotson, the reluctant detective who wants to be a Bollywood star. Clockwork Ambrosia is a steampunk fusion of metroidvania and weapon building 2D shooter. Experiment with a range of rule breaking weapon modifications and armors to prevail through this wild adventure. Anton Blast is a fast paced explosive action platformer that's all about destruction. Players the enraged dynamite Anton or his cranked out co worker Annie and use your mighty button hammer to demolish bizarre worlds tussle with screen filling bosses and steal your spirits back from satan far lands congratulations you've bought your own planet an agrarian rock at the edge of the galaxy that for some reason was practically being given away for free so the time has come to leave your hectic stressful life in an overcrowded metropolis for a more rural and rewarding life big boy boxing is an energetic boss rush game inspired by Punch Out, featuring fluid gameplay, wacky comedy, special ability, stylized hand animated pixel art, and a retro banger soundtrack. And then we had Screenbound again, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> Metal Suits Counter Attack. Don't take him off, start revenge with Kevin, the main character who lost everything he loved and was reborn as a cyborg. Sacrifier is an upcoming RPG boasting a unique combat system, elaborate pixel art and music by genre legend Motoi Sakuraba. Closing off with Sono Kuni, battle your way through a biopunk and Japanese mythology inspired landscape filled with over the top hip hop infused to the action. Yeah, this, this music. And to finish off, we're gonna do one more rapid fire round with PC Gamers PC Gaming Show Lorne Vale a free roaming post-apocalyptic survival sandbox RPG in which you must weather the unrelenting brutality of a dying world Ale Abbey build and expand your monastery craft recipes and brew holy ales in this unique brewery tycoon Streets of Rogue 2 is a crazy immersive RPG sandbox set in a vast randomly generated open world where freedom and fun are dialed up to 11. Mars Tactics The Red Planet is at war, lead either Capital's corporate army or Labor's worker revolutionaries and wage war across a vast strategic map then assume direct control in turn-based tactical battles. Demon School is a new style tactics RPG where motion equals action. Unrail to back on track, the chaotic co-op railroad construction game is back. Team up with your friends to build a railroad through procedurally generated worlds with new biomes and bosses. Space Station 14. Disasters, enemies and incompetence conspire to make each shift aboard the station a unique and hellish experience. Odin Fall. Odin Fall is a Viking team roguelite twin stick shooter. Blast your way through procedurally generated levels, upgrade your character, modify your weapons, and take down robotic Norse gods to earn your freedom. Core Keeper. Explore an endless cavern of creatures, relics, and resources in a mining sandbox adventure for 1 to 8 players. Mine, build, fight, craft, and farm to unravel the mystery of the ancient core. G.I. Joe Wrath of Cobra. Cobra returns once again with its most fiendish plot yet and it's up to G.I. Joe to defeat them once more. 
Ever Home. It's time to establish a homestead, meet your friendly Ever Folks, then learn their secrets and solve the mystery of Ever Home in this open ended minimalist RPG. Splody, the platformer without the jump button. Master the art of potion propulsion in this fast-paced adventure where strategy, precision and creativity meet explosive fun. And well, what do you guess? Then we have Screen Bound for one final time, like, I hope everybody knows this game by now. And then we have Dwarf Fortress, which is gonna get the adventure update. The deepest, most intricate simulation of a world that's ever been created, the legendary Dwarf Fortress. Caves of Kud is a science fantasy roguelike epic steeped in retro futurism, deep simulation, and twats of sentient plants. <laughs> well, that was it. Another pixel art news episode done. I really, I really didn't, I didn't see this coming when I when I decided let's let's make it a weekly thing, and then summer game fest comes. I need to go to sleep. I hope you had a good time. Give me a thumbs up if you reached all the way here and I'll see you next time.